Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Today I want to talk through a really fascinating concept inside of Power BI and the DAX formula language, which I guess I call it just iterating logic through virtual tables. Now, there's probably other names for it, but none that I've, I've particularly seen about this in, in, a, you know, in this particular way, the way I look at it. I think that if you can understand how this logic works, how you can iterate logic through virtual tables, your mind will absolutely explode in terms of the analytical possibilities that you can achieve in any data, with any data. It does not matter what data set is that you have. You would all you'd have to do is just sit and, uh, and think about what are some of these really unique and great insights that I can achieve when implementing this type of uh, logic or this type of technique inside of your models. Now, hopefully, you're somewhat familiar with virtual tables. There's a, there's a whole subset of functions inside of Power BI that enable you to create these virtual tables. Sometimes these tables can just be used as filtering functions or to add context to a calculation. But what I like to sometimes think of, or what I like to uh, think about with these virtual tables is they allow you to internally iterate logic through them um, based on anything, any context that you place them into, right? And so the best way to explain it is just to work through some examples. So. What I've done here is I've placed some context from my model, and this is a very simple model, I use it nearly all the time. Uh, from my locations table, I have a relationship which flows down to my sales table. Now, sometimes you might think, well, this is so generic, you know, how can I apply this to my model? I'm telling you, every all data is so similar, it's just a matter of setting up your model well, okay? Um, and, and setting up an intuitive way. Within Enterprise DNA Online, this is this is the uh, education portal that uh, from Enterprise DNA, there is an advanced modeling course. So if you need to understand your modeling a little bit better, certainly check that out at portal.enterprisedna.co. Now, simple, uh, simple calculation, we can calculate total sales. So this is just using some X, um, you know, essentially we, we are running some logic. We are, uh, this is an iterating function too, but I want to, I want to show you something a little bit more unique uh, in terms of how we can iterate logic through these virtual tables. But it's, in any sense, really this is just calculating our sales for every single region. In this case, we've got no other filters on our data. So it is just basically from the beginning of time, these are the total sales. This is, but this is where I want to start calculating different things, right? What I want to do now is I want to calculate the sales of what I classify as a good customer, right? Or what we classify as a good customer. So let's have a look at what this particular formula allows us to do as well. So you'll see here that this is sum X, right? We're using sum X, but we, we are altering. We are altering the virtual table that we are using as context for the calculation. So you've got to always remember uh, the any calculation in Power BI happens in a two-step process. First of all, there is the initial context, and then there's the measure, cal the, the measure calculation, right? So that's a very simplified version. But obviously, first, let's have a look at this first result. We are first of all filtered by Connecticut, so this has all already got some filtering happening in behind the model, but then what we are doing post that is we're saying, okay, well, go and find, create a virtual table of all of our customers who have purchased in Connecticut. So this is this is this is a very simple virtual table. I mean it's basically just one column, right? So it's a one column table of all of our customers who have purchased in Connecticut. Then we are running some logic through this particular virtual table. We were saying, well I only want to retain customers that have purchased over, in this case, each individual customer we're evaluating if they have purchased over 2000 if their sales have been over $2,000. And what this does is that this evaluation, this logic that we're running through this one column table, is it's only going to retain, this, well, this, it's going to filter out every single customer that has purchased under 2000 and all that's going to remain is the customers that have purchased over 2000 And then based on this new table that we have, we are then going to calculate up the total sales total and that's what sum x allows us to do so it's really um really it, it, it's, a, it's a technique that hopefully you can see already can be 
implement it in many many different ways and obviously you can alter it as well so this number currently is static you could obviously make it dynamic you could self-generate it you could you could um, make this a measure you could uh, have a variable and integrate that into your formula so there's lots of different ways that you could you could incorporate um, and your additional techniques inside of this um, particular particular one but the key here the key here is this right it is creating this virtual table in this case it's just a virtual column just a column of information of, of all the customers have bought and then we're saying okay we'll only retain the customers that have bought over in this case because I just changed it to 10,000 and then go and um, because it's in some X then this table is only looking at those good customers and then counting up the sales of those good customers now here's another example here's another example where um, you can take it up another level okay is that that table within there can be very different it can be it can be it can be a more detailed table okay and so what i'm doing here is i'm only looking at sales i want to look at sales of good uh, customers and the products they buy right so instead of being a one column virtual table this is a two column virtual table of every single customer and every single product that they bought in connecticut in this particular row here and then it obviously it changes as you um, go down um, to different regions or different states and then I'm saying we'll only uh, filter out all the customers and product sales that are less than 2,000 and only re and retain the ones that are above 2,000 and then post that go and calculate up the total sales because of some X so that is that is basically it. that is that is the logic that I wanted to go through in this tutorial, and I want I want you to try and get into your mind. You know, it's a way of thinking. How can you, in any particular context, in any particular on any particular data, how can I create a virtual table, an internal table, in any context that I can iterate some logic through, okay, and then evaluate what uh, what the particular result is post that. Now, what I wanted to show. To, to end it is that you can actually calculate this another way and there is really actually no difference so I'll just I'll just actually get them the same so I'll turn this back to 5,000 so you see here that these two numbers are actually the same now but I've calculated it in a slightly different way and this is a really good tutorial on just calculate right so calculate enables you to do a similar thing but instead of this virtual table, this this iterating logic being in a iterating function, like with some X, it's actually been used as a filter. It's it's actually being used to change the context of the calculation uh, within Calculate. So another really good application of how you can utilize this this really similar logic. Okay, I'm going to round it off. Hopefully you enjoyed um, this video. There's, there's um, there are lots to learn, lots to learn, lots to apply in our own models. You know, there's, there's, there's so many different ways that, um, that these can be applied ultimately uh, on any data set. Don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Plenty of content and events coming up. Uh, and you know, I'm sure you want to jump onto those. So I uh, want to get those uh, that information out to you as soon as possible. Um, so certainly don't forget to subscribe for that. Okay, all the very best. Talk to you soon.